In today's real estate world, there are many choices to be made, both for new homes and for renovations on used homes. And one of these areas that's in every home and can affect the appearance and functionality of a kitchen is the countertops. So what kinds of countertops are available? And which one of them is the best? Do they affect resale value? Well, stay tuned and we'll answer these questions and more. Hey YouTubers, this is Bruce from Homes and Life, here again to help you understand some information on real estate and on living life. If you find this video interesting, please remember to click the subscribe and the thumbs up buttons down below. So you're trying to decide what are the best countertops for your application. Before we look at the different types of countertops that are available, it may be a good idea to consider a few specifics. There's some questions. Are these countertops for a new home? Or are they for a renovation on a used home? Is it a high-end home or more of a basic home? Is budget a deciding factor? And do you mind doing some maintenance or do you prefer a countertop that is maintenance free? Here's something to keep in mind. If you are spending thousands of dollars on high-end countertops, do they match the quality of the home and of the neighborhood? For example, if this is a very expensive home in a deluxe neighborhood, are laminate countertops a good idea? Well, probably not. Or, if you have an old house in an older area, is it worth installing marble countertops? Well, in this, most cases here, you would spend more money than you would see on the increase in your property value. So, in that case, only if it's for your own personal pleasure would it be worthwhile. So let's look at some of the most popular types of countertops. They're in no particular order as far as best or worst. It's your decision as to what is best for you. Marble. Marble's been around for thousands of years in many applications. We've seen it in statutes and in different tiles. And as a countertop, marble gives a classy, elegant look. It's a hard surface, but it is softer than granite or quartzite. Marble is also porous and will require routine sealing to avoid stains and reduce the chances of scratching. Marble is also heat resistant, not heat proof. It is possible to discolor and possibly crack marble by placing an extremely hot pan directly on the surface for a while. And you'll notice that lower quality marble will be more prone to these issues. Quartz. There is some confusion with this name as quartz countertops are a fabricated product, while quartzite is a naturally occurring product that is quarried. Quartz countertops are made from ground up quartz, which is a natural mineral, mixed with a binding agent, as well as some colorings. The result is an attractive yet extremely durable non-porous product that is low maintenance. There's many colors to choose from and the resulting finish is fairly uniform in appearance. Being non-porous, quartz countertops are also more hygienic than other hard surfaces. And as well, some manufacturers will add uh, antibacterial products to the mix as well. It's also heat resistant, but not heat proof. So extreme heat could crack or discolor the countertop. Quartzite. Now quartzite is similar to granite in that it's a naturally occurring product that is quarried. You take it out of a, a quartzite quarry, but it does have fewer options than granite. It mostly tends to have white and gray tones like other natural stones, it has some porosity, so it will need to be sealed on a regular basis. 
Quartzite is also heat resistant, so again, precaution should be taken. Granite. Granite has been popular over the last few years, probably due to the wide variety of colors and patterns available. I have seen large granite countertops installed on an island that were an impressive feature in an open concept area. Again though, granite does need to be sealed, but there is a process available now that seals the granite for a number of years. Granite's also heat resistant, but not heat proof. Concrete. Concrete countertops are all unique depending on the builder's imagination. They're quite labor intensive and quite heavy. They create a rustic appearance and with today's colorings and finishes, they can look quite attractive. Concrete also requires sealing and is prone to staining. They're difficult to repair and concrete may be just a fad, which can impact the resale price down the road. Corian. Corian is a name brand of which the original patent has expired and so there are a number of name brands now that make a very similar product. Corian is similar to quartz in that it's made from stone derived materials and acrylic polymers to bind it all together. Seams on these countertops can be difficult to detect. A new technology has improved the product. Some of the older Corian tends to damage easily. These countertops are available with molded sinks built right in, but some people report that the sinks with light colors uh, sometimes stain. Corian is not heat resistant, so care should always be taken when placing a pot on Corian to avoid a burnt spot. Butcher Block. Butcher block and other wood countertops create a wonderful warm feeling in the kitchen. Different types of wood can create a variety of appearances. Wood, however, is a high maintenance item. Frequent care and maintenance need to be taken to make sure that the wood is sealed in order to minimize any bacteria growth. Any proximity to water, like around the sinks and taps, should be monitored for moisture. Some woods will discolor with any moisture. Laminates. Laminates are a high pressure plastic laminate with a photographic image of a style of a countertop built in. There are hundreds of images available looking like wood, like granite, marble, or much more. The new laminates come in a variety of qualities and the higher qualities have a hard surface coating over them. This makes them easy to clean and as well, it makes them scratch resistant, but not really heat resistant. Laminates are usually glued to a particle board, which can swell if any water gets into a seam or underneath the laminate. And there will be seams as the laminate usually comes in sheets up to five feet wide and often needs to be butted up to another piece in order to get the desired size. Laminates are a fraction of the price of the high-end stone countertops and if taken care of, will last for many years. You might be able to see the countertop behind me. That is a laminate countertop. Epoxy. Epoxy is a newer product and is becoming more popular both for the low cost and for the fact that DIYers or do-it-yourselfers can do this countertop themselves. The design is totally up to the builder and can look surprisingly like granite or marble or any other design that you choose and all this at a fraction of the cost. With epoxy there's a 30-day curing time for this product to reach its maximum hardness and when it is cured, it is surprisingly impact resistant. It is heat resistant, but extreme heat from a very hot pan may leave marks. And knives may mark the surface, but the marks can be polished out. Well, this certainly gives you as a homeowner many options for countertops. 
The challenge for homeowners is to find a balance between the appearance, and the price, the durability, and the maintenance. The good news for those who are not sure is that you can start with a lower price countertop like laminate or epoxy and upgrade a few years later when you've got a better idea of what you would like and, and what works for you. I do hope this video has given you some information to think about and if so, please click the thumbs up and the subscribe buttons below. And remember, life is an adventure. And I'll talk to you again soon.